Assalamualaikum and good greetings. So today we'll be watching a video titled Why does God allow evil to exist? Question mark. This is by the Muslim Lantern. Without further ado, let's watch. But I'm a firm believer that everyone believes in a God. Okay. So it doesn't I agree with you completely. It doesn't matter what religion you are. Okay. There's always, always someone more powerful than us. Absolutely. When you say everyone believes in a God, uh, first I want to ask is because you said you were religious before. Yeah. Christian? Yeah. Okay. CV. So what, what what moved you away from Christianity? Oh, just all the bad things that happened in life. So okay. Loads of mishaps. But. And I've seen quite a lot. If there was a God, I can't believe in that happen. Okay. You know what they call the problem of evil? Is what you're saying basically. It's, co it's called the problem of evil. The, the people in philosophy and, and in the West generally refer to what you said as the problem of evil. So if there's an all-powerful God and there's evil in the world, how can there be a God that's a merciful and powerful yeah. and He lets it happen, right? But I think there's so many things missing in that question when you look at it. First thing is why do we exist in this life to begin with? Why are we here? Yeah. A, always, the answer to that is 42, isn't it? The answer to that, that is what? 42. What people do you mean by that? We try to describe to the galaxy. No, I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, search it. <laughs> that is the wrong reference for me because I don't know. <laughs> but the answer in Islam. In Christianity, I would say you have a lot of problems because in Christianity, a person would say someone already died for your sins, you're just here, you, you believe, that, and that's it, you go to paradise. In Islam, this life is a test. You're responsible and accountable for what you do, yeah. which means that you need to have two choices one to do good and one to do bad, which means by necessity there has to be evil in the world. Because I cannot be tested unless I have the choice to do evil and I have the choice to do good. Otherwise, there is no test. Unfortunately, there's too many people in the world that do the evil. No, but that's true. But that means too many people in the world are losing or, or failing their test. But that does not necessitate that then therefore there is no, no God or that religion is not true. Where is the link there is the question I'm asking. Just because there is evil in the world, like how can you recognize good without evil? Sorry? Like a white, too often. Exactly. And how can you appreciate what you have when you don't see someone who's less fortunate than yourself? I, I'm grateful for what I have now because I've been there with nothing. But you're, you're saying what I'm saying, right? So God can put you in certain situations to be grateful for what you have. Or even to bring some people back to Him. Some people are so further away from God that they wait until that bad thing happens in their life and they remember the Creator, right? So that can be a reason for you to come closer to God. There's so many answers that I can give for this idea that something you might perceive to be evil does not necessitate is evil. You know, a person who doesn't know anything about surgery and he goes to a hospital and he sees them amputating someone's arm and he thinks they're be being evil, but they're saving someone's life. Yeah. So my perception of something, I'm not all knowledgeable, I'm not all wise. So I can see something and it's bad for me, from my perspective, but the God who sees everything, who knows everything about that person, and about everyone around that person, maybe that thing that is happening is actually good. Allah says in the Quran, you might love something and it's bad for you. And you might hate something and it is good for you. And Allah Allah knows that you do not know. Yeah, I mean, my son does religious studies. Religious in yes. He's done Judaism last year. Okay. So I'm not sure what he's doing next year. I'm interested about you though. <laughs> you know? I'm interested about you because. I'll read it. Okay, yeah, just I'm, read it. I've always been fascinated by other religions. Okay. Because I've seen my side of it. Okay. Yeah, Islam is quite different because it's not about one individual who died for you and, uh, and all about love, love and all of that. No, Islam is about connecting you to the one true creator, worshipping him alone, not associating partners with him. He is the center of life, God, not a human being, not Jesus, not Prophet Muhammad, not yes, Moses. Catholic Jesus. Yes, it's, it's just the creator alone. You direct yourself to him, you worship him, you pray to him and you connect with him. And you understand, as I said, that this life is a test. You're always tested of what choice you're going to make, you know? But look, you know that this universe is too magnificent to say that it comes by itself. Deep down in your heart, you know this. <laughs> okay, so you you can you create something close to the universe? When I was at school, yes, I got expelled from religious studies. Okay, because just prior to that, we had two lessons of physics and science. Okay, where they taught us about the Big Bang Theory. Okay, and then when I went into religious studies, I argued about Big Bang Theory about. Okay, okay, I got but the Bang. Big Bang Theory has not. The Big Bang Theory is more on the religion. 
religious side than it is on the atheist side. Because it's a, it's a, an effect that requires a cause. Yeah. And atheists will have to explain how did the, where did the energy and matter come into existence, how did they come into existence, and what caused it to expand. So the Big Bang is more on the religious side, on God's side, than it is on the atheist side. Not with the, not with the church of England, it's not. It's totally because they don't, know, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'll let you go, but think about what I said, yeah? No problem, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so he's in a rush. He cannot wait to go away. Maybe he's, you know, have something scheduled or something. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure whether he get the, 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 the answer for the argument that he, he gave about you know, the, the existence of evil, hence no God. Right? That's, a, that's a problematic stand. If you, re if you reject God, the existence of God, due to, you know, evil that you see, uh, I'm not sure how that becomes something that quite prominent where people actually believe as such, mean, make, making conclusion based on that. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, that's a short clip. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time.